and this armchair GM, I will be the armchair GM for the St. Louis Blues and the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is my podcast of the week. I will start by being the armchair GM for the St. Louis Blues, then I will be the armchair GM for the Tampa Bay Lightning. After a disappointing loss in the Western Conference Finals, the St. Louis Blues have many tough decisions to make. They have many players to resign this offseason, and Kevin Chattenkirk is due for a new contract next year. You can bet that the St. Louis Blues will be very busy this summer, whether it is making trades or signing some new free agents. Here's what I would do if I were the Blues GM. But first, let's take a look at the UFAs and the RFAs for the St. Louis Blues. The UFAs are David Backus, Troy Brower, Scotty Upshaw, Steve Ott, and Kyle Brodziak. The RFAs are Jaden Schwartz, Dimitri Jaskin, and Magnus PRV. The first order of business is re-signing Jaden Schwartz because he is a core piece to the St. Louis Blues and is possibly the future captain of the team. We signed Schwartz to a five-year extension worth $5.5 million per season. Then I would re-sign the captain right now, David Backus, to a four-year deal worth $6 million per season. Now, this is on the high side, but it's for four years, and this is still while David Backus is still considered in his prime. And he has been loyal to the team, and he fits the Blues team and system. And this allows for the transition phase to a short era. I would also resign Dimitri Jaskin to a two year deal for some depth. Next, I would trade Patrick Berglund and Kevin Shattenkirk to the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for Cam Atkinson, Sonny Milano, Dylan Hetherington, who is a defensive prospect, as well as a third-round pick in 2016 and a conditional first-round pick in 2017 if the Blue Jackets make the playoffs. This trade makes sense for both teams because Berglund gives the Blue Jackets some depth up front and Shattenkirk gives the Blue Jackets a puck-moving defenseman on the back end. Atkinson gives them the Blues a right winger for depth either in the top six or bottom six. Sonny Milano is a nice piece that the Blues can use going forward. And Hetherington is also a nice defensive prospect going forward. And the picks are a nice throw in as well. Uh, here are some free agent signings I would make for the Blues. They are not going to be able to retain Troy Brower and Kyle Brodziak as they will be pretty high sought after in free agency. So I would go after Brad Richards in free agency, uh, sign him to a one-year deal worth $2.5 million per season. And I would also sign Jared Stull to a one-year deal. That's for the depth. And I would call up J- Jordan Sh- Maltz. Jordan Schmaltz is their top defensive prospect on the fence. And with the departure of Kevin Shattenkirk, he would immediately make the team. And with the emergence of Colton Perenko, he would move up and take Shattenkirk's position. And Schmaltz would slide right in and fit into the team. So after all is said and done, the Blues would have added Jordan Schmaltz 
Cam Atkinson, Sonny Milano, Dylan Hetherington, and Jared Stoll, as well as Brad Richards. They would have lost Magnus P. Arby, Troy Brower, Scotty Upshaw, Steve Ott, and Kyle Brodziak, as well as Kevin Shankirk and Patrick Bergwin. This is how the roster would have looked on opening day, according to this armchair GM. The first line is Jordan Schwartz, Jaden Schwartz, sorry, Patrick Leterra, Yuri Leterra, sorry, and Vladimir Tarasenko. First line is Schwartz, Leterra, and Tarasenko. Second line is Fabry, Stastny, and Bacchus. Third line is Steen, Richards, and Atkinson. Fourth line is Gaskin, Stahl, and Raddy. The first defensive pair is Bowmeister and Petriangelo. Second defensive pair is Gunnarsson and Perenko. The third defensive pair is Edmondson and Schmoltz. And the spare defenseman is Robert Bertuzzo. The goaltenders would be Brian Elliott and Jake Allen. So that's the armchair GM for the St. Louis Blues. Now I will move on and be the armchair GM for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning are going to be a team that everyone in the NHL is going to be watching this offseason. They not only have Steven Stamkos, who needs to be re-signed, and is going to be the most sought-after free agent this offseason and this July 1st. But the Tampa Bay Lightning will also have Victor Hedman, who is their top defenseman, and Ben Bishop to resign next season, who is their number one goalie. So they also have to resign Kucherov this offseason and Tyler Johnson next season. So they would have a lot of important pieces of their court to resign. And they, on top of that, they don't have a lot of cap left to do so. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Tampa Bay Lightning do. Of course, the Tampa Bay Lightning would love to resign Steven Stamkos, but it seems as though the Tampa Bay Lightning did, did fine without Steven Stamkos in the playoffs. They made the adjustments and made it all the way to the conference finals. If they were to go out and make some moves and adjust the roster without Stamkos, I think it could be more than fine. So this is what I would do as the Tampa Bay Lightning's GM. The UFAs, as I mentioned, are Steven Stamkos and also Marcia So. The RFAs are Alex Kalorn, Nikita Kucherov, Cedric Paquette, Paquette and Vladimir, Vladimir Domestikov. Domestikov, Domestikov, uh, and JT Brown. The first thing the Tampa Bay Lightning need to do before they sign anyone is clear some cap room because right now they don't have any. The first player gone is Matt Carl. I would trade Matt Carl to the Arizona Coyotes because they need to hit the cap floor in exchange for a third round pick in 2018. This works for both teams because the Lightning cleared the cap room of or cap space of Matt Carl and the Arizona Coyotes get some depth on the fence. Next move the Tampa Bay Lightning should make is trade Ryan Callahan. Ryan Callahan is a good, hardworking player that is a good leader in the locker room. However, he's making way too much money right now. $5.8 million is way too much. And for four more years, down the road, 
Callahan's not going to be worth that much money. So I would try to move his contract. I think the National Predators would be a good fit for the contract of Brian Callahan or the services of Brian Callahan, for that matter. I would trade him straight up for Craig Smith. Craig Smith is the serviceable third-line player. He can also play in the top six if needed. Craig Smith is a player whose play dropped off a little bit this season, but he is a player that can be streaky and string together a string of games where he can put up a lot of goals. But the key to his game is consistency. If he can play in the right system, Craig Smith can be an effective player. I think the Lightning could make good use of Craig Smith. This also would help help the Tampa Bay Lightning because Craig Smith has a cap friendly cap hit at four point two five million for the next four years. So that's a good deal. Next move is a tough one. It's Anytime you're trading a superstar in Steven Stamkos, it's going to be a tough move. But this is a trade you have to make. I would try to move Steven Stamkos' rights to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for a first-round pick from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Not Austin Matthews' pick, but the one from the Pittsburgh Penguins. And William Nylander. This is a lot to give up from the Toronto Maple Leafs for a negotiation rights. But this is Steven Stamkos you're talking about. You're not going to give up Steven Stamkos' negotiation rights for nothing. And it's no secret that Steven Stamkos wants to play in Toronto. Getting Steven Stamkos and drafting Austin Matthews would immediately give the Toronto Maple Leafs, a good one-two down the middle for many years. So even though you give up Nylander and a first, this is a good trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And from Tampa Bay's perspective, you get William Nylander, who is a good young player, and a first-round pick, which helps you save them some cap. So this is a good trade on both sides. I would also trade Altieri Filpola back to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for Timu Polkinen and a second round pick in 2017. Detroit will need a center since if the tro- that soup really does decide to leave this soft season, they will have a gaping hole in the center position and he would definitely fill the void at the center position. Resigning Nikita Kucherov to an extension is going to be very important this offseason. Now that you have free cap space, you can do so. I would resign Kucherov to an eight-year deal with $6.5 million per season. Now, this may be a bit much right now, but down the line, this will be a steal. And Kucherov has emerged as the team's leading scorer without Steven Stamkos, and he is their go-to scorer right now. Also, the emergence of Jonathan Drouin has allowed them to trade Steven Stamkos as well. If he can continue to emerge as a go-to playmaker on the team, the Lightning should be fine. Also, we signed Alex Killorn to a four-year deal or $4.5 million per season. Alex Killorn is a perfect player that can grind it out and score as well. Other players that I would sign are JT Depp Brown, Cedric Kett, Nesterov, Marshall, and Nemesnikov. These players I would sign to two-year deals. So after all said and done, the Tampa Bay Lightning would 
added Timo Polkinen, Nylander, Craig Smith, and they would have lost Steven Stampos, Valtteri Filippola, Ryan Callahan, and Matt Carl. So this is how the roster would look like according to the armchair GM. First line, Andre Palat, Tyler Johnson, Nikita Kucherov, the triplets. Second line, Alex Killorn, William Nylander, and Jonathan Druid. Third line, Timo Polkinen, Vladislav Nemestikov, Nemestikov, sorry, and Craig Smith. Fourth line, Cedric Pett, Ryan Boyle, JT Brown. First defensive pair, Victor Hedman, Anton Strollman. Second defensive pair, Jason Garrison, Andre Schuster. Third defensive pair, Sander Kugel and Braden Coburn. Extra defenseman is Nesterov. Goaltenders are Ben Bishop and Andre Veselevsky. Next episode, oh, this is going to be the, it for the armchair GM for the Tampa Bay Lightning and the St. Louis Blues. And we'll also conclude this podcast. Next episode, I will be the armchair GM for the Tampa, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs and the Vancouver Canucks.